we're talking about Glance by Steve Thompson. To me, this is as close to mind reading as a book test has ever gotten. Instead of a book, which is heavy, weighs a lot to carry around, a lot of memorization required, and it's a book title that probably nobody has ever heard of, with Glance, it's a magazine. It's whatever brand of magazine is popular in your area. They can check the date on it, it's a brand magazine, they can look through it, and there are no weird instructions. No, turn to page 37 in your book, count down to the eighth line, think of the first word, run your finger down the page, none of that stuff. You just hand them a magazine and you say, flip through it. When you're satisfied, it's what it appears to be. Think of any word. It can be any word in the captions, in the body of the text, in the advertisements, any word at all, but make it a big word. And from there, you're rolling and you've got it. It's practical, it's amazing, it plays both for parlor and large settings as well as close-up, and I'm really excited about our newest release, Glance. Um, we're going to try a little bit of mind reading. If I were to ask you to think of a word, you might think that I was able to influence you somehow by the words I'm saying, the things I've subjected you to before, or something like that. So instead, we're going to randomize it. Downstairs is a little corner shop. I picked up three magazines, The Week, Newsweek, Time, and you can verify for the people watching at home that these are legitimate magazines, that they are what they appear to be, and uh, yeah, and that, they're, that they are as they seem. You can even see the dates. This is December. I, I try to get this week's in every case. What you're going to do is this. You're going to take the magazines, and I'm going to turn away from you, and I'll ask you to just pick any one that you like. Then I want you to flip through it, make sure it, it is what it appears to be, and then go to any page, magazine, uh, advertisement, an article, a caption, anything you want, and think of any word. Make it a big word, like right? many syllables, many letters, something interesting for the people watching at home. But think of a big word, I will turn away, and now I can play Get to Know You with Cassie. Hi. Hi. <laughs> it's actually going to be really tough, because if they think of a word, there's like about 3,000 words on a page, 80 pages per magazine, three different magazines. That's crazy. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah. I hope you. You got one? Close up the book, close up the magazine, put everything away. You got it? Got it. Look at me. Wow. This is gonna be tough. You see anything? I, I don't see anything to go on. You're thinking of your word? We have to break this down. Let's break it down in smaller bites. So go letter by letter, yeah? Think of the first letter. I'm gonna uh, write it down. It helps me visualize it when I can write things down. First letter. Look at me. Uh, I'm not sure if this is right. What was the first letter you were thinking of? I. I. Interesting. Yeah, maybe I am on the right track here. Think of the second letter. Just the second letter. Forget the word for a moment. so far. Um, think of the whole thing. We'll go for everything right now for them at home. I have terrible memory. Just trying to get close. It may not be exact. What was the word you thought of? Independence. Independence. What? 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 <laughs>